Hi, I'm going to explain the features of your workforce phone. So on your display, you have a little green circle to say that you're available. Next to it is your extension number and the name that's been assigned to your phone. Uh, next one is arrow, red arrow coming in, so you have a missed call. And then you have a little blue envelope there to say that there's a voicemail. And over here we have the uh, blue flashing light to notify you of either of those two. Here we have some uh, program keys. These can be programmed for speed dials, uh, supervision of other phones, etc. Um, at the moment we've only programmed a few in there. Uh, what you can do, there's 16 of them. And you can scroll over to the next page. As you can see, the blue dot down there is telling you what page you're on. And you just scroll over through there. These keys also show you the status of other people or devices. So if it's a steady blue, it means that they're actually busy on the phone. If it's flashing blue, it means that they're um, ringing. So if I make a call out from the other phone, okay, so you can see that is now blue to say they're talking on the phone. When they turn down, it comes free again. Um, I can't show it ringing because I haven't got another phone to show it ringing, but it will be flashing blue on there. Then you have what we call soft keys. These soft keys change state depending on what mode the phone's in, um, if it's an active call, etc. Um, and then down here we have your back or stop, then your tick to set for go or enter. Um, down here we have your transfer button, your history or redial headset button, your secrecy stroke uh, microphone mute. You have your voicemail button, your phone book button, and your loudspeaker. And here's your volume up and down. Depending on what state the phone's in, is what we, it will activate. At the moment, the phone is idle, not doing anything. If we go up and down, that will adjust your volume. And if we let that stop, that volume where we left it off at, at would be your volume it will start next time. It remembers. So if we go to speaker, I'll turn the speaker on and off to show you that. Up and down, and that, and it again it will remember. So I'll exit out of there to time it out. Or if you're on the handset, you go up and down, and again it will remember where you last set that. Uh, so you do history in here, history of all your calls. If you wanted, you can scroll down to one and go down into details, it give you a bit more information. So that was from Lee. Uh, extension 206 that was the time the duration was 16 seconds and it's saying the direction was local because I was internal and you come back out there and there we can archive it um, so you have see so you have the outbound calls and they're missed calls coming in because they're red um, so direction and color is whether it's in or out or if it's missed and answered etc so you come out there you want to press back all across now you see the arrow's gone from there because we've looked at the history. Now we have a voicemail, still have flashing light, so we go into the voicemail key. And here you have two calls on there. So you can select one of them, and go to that one. At this point you can press play, but I recommend pressing info. Because it takes you to this level where you've still got play, but you've got delete there. So you've still got to, if you want to delete it, you've still got to go into info. So you might as well go in at this point. So press play. Incoming test message number one. Message number one, I've recorded. So let that time out at this point. I can press delete. Go into the next one. Test message number two. Wait for that to time out. I could transfer that if I wanted to at that point. Um, so here, see what I mean? I didn't do it from there. So if I now go info, I've now got to go in to delete it from there. Uh, come out of there. You see the envelope's now gone. Uh, you will change your status to your phone by pressing and hold that key. You see that's now put it into do not disturb. And again, press and hold that key. No entry sign on that key. It's there. Um, you can change it to a way if you wanted to. Um, so we go feature. And your status is available. 
at that point you have press modify or the tick button I'll press tick button and then scroll down to away and then tick button again right, so it's now saying my status is away I'm going to hit back and you see I've got a clock there to say now to say I'm away so I'm going to turn that back to available go feature modify turn that back to available and save and exit out so we're back to available if I want to call someone I can just push the speed dial button that's up to their phone they will answer we're we'll talking away if I want to put someone on hold I'll just press hold they're now on hold if you want to get it back you can see there's like a pause flashing and a resume button you press the resume and get them back so again hold and back and that there Clear that call down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to now show you how to transfer a call. So if I make a call in, so I've answered that call. I'll just mute that voice, that one. Right, at this point, I'm going to go transfer and I'll go to Lee. He answers that phone. Now we're talking to each other. The caller is still on hold. If I want to transfer, I can either just put down the handset or press the transfer. I put down the handset. They're now talking together. So I'm going to just okay. They're talking together. So I will just do a call coming in where they don't want to answer the call. They can't take it for some reason. So we answer that. Transfer to that person. They then answer the call. They say no, nope, don't want to take the call. They hang up and you just press the resume to get them back. And you're now talking to that person again. You need to put them on hold. Take them on hold. Transfer it to someone else if there is on there, or you can type in the internal number. In there. So open that one up. should we do so also within the menu you can change your backlight level so if I want to modify the backlight I'm in there if you see the little um, arrows next to it so I'm going to go switch I can increase the backlight I'll just drop it down to two and I hit save um, go into the status it's generally most of these are settings that we would ask you to go into if required um, you have features so in here you can change where you want to have them so if you're call forward when you're busy at the moment it's going to send it to voicemail no answer to voicemail and divert your phone or calls is turned off there's other features like call waiting uh, a good one is if you do it this way you go scroll down to ringtone at the moment set to ring one modify it and you choose a ringtone standard ringtone is level number five so we'll press play, that's standard one. So what we're going to do, we played that, we're going to go back, so we're going to go back into number five, we're going to hit modify. And now if we go up, because we're at the bottom, ring five, set. So I'll come out just to show you that that's set. I will call from another phone. That's changed to ringtone there. And again, what I forgot to say earlier, you also show one missed call in there. So we can view that at this point, or we can hit the history there and then do it there. And it was the time. And you again, you can detail it. If you want to call them, just press the dial button. And you can have that, that time out. So there is the basics of your telephone. If you've got any further questions, just speak to us or just email us at uh, support at nextcoms.co.uk and we'll be able to answer any of your questions. Thank you.